Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing and disassembling this 150 horsepower vertical hollow shaft motor. Uh, this specific one belongs at a water treatment facility where it runs a turbine pump. It's multi-stage. It goes into the ground and sucks water out of the ground and um, that's how they, they get their water to different places in the facility. Um, follow me, we're going to begin the high potential test for it. That is going to show if we have any kind of leakage to ground, if there's any shorts, it's going to uh, click us out right away. But if we do not, then we will be able to get this full test in. So I'm gonna lock it so I don't have to have my finger on the button the entire time. All right, so this is a 460 volt motor and to test it, we are going to go up twice the working voltage plus 1000. It roughly comes up to um, 2000 volts, so we're there. The red line, as you can see, it's spiked. That is an indication of leakage to ground. However, it's just for a second, so not enough to click this out. Um, and we're going to hold it at this voltage for one minute to get this full high pot test. Now, if this red line were to have kept climbing, it would have automatically uh, ended the test, indicating that we have a short. So it's looking good so far. We still have 30 seconds left. You rarely see it end in the middle of the test, so if it doesn't end right away, uh, we're usually gonna be good. So, just gotta wait for it to end, and the test after this will be the surge comparison test. Two, one, okay. So it needs to di discharge. All right, switching test. We do not need to save the data this time. Okay, this one does not have a lock, so I have to keep my finger on the button the entire time, so excuse my arm. Same voltage applies. Roughly 2,000. You see the wavelength. It's uh, this is your voltage you're coming up to, and you have your wavelength. If we want to spread that out, you can do that there. Now that was phase one. We're going to phase two, and ideally we want them all to line up. That shows us that we have a nice balanced winding. So there is some separation, but. That is from rotor distortion. Um, I would need to turn the rotor and the motor. Um, however, it has a top hat on it that is not going to allow me to turn it at this time. So I'm just gonna move on to the third phase. All right, so there is some significant um, spacing on these, uh, these wavelengths. It is going to show that we have a bad surge. It could be from rotor distortion. However, the customer did say that there was fire coming out of it. So we're going to err on the side of caution and say that that's bad. Also, we're not going to run it because it had a bad surge test and we're going to move over to disassemble.
going east. Yeah.
So the rotor drug heavily on the inside of the laminations and the smoke that the customer thought they saw was the physical contact of the rotor and the stator. All right. The bottom bearing. Both bearings are in an oil bath. The bottom bearing is a pilot bearing, radial bearing. The top bearing is a dual thrust bearing. There you have it, this is the motor.